Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to take our 12 by 24 pool and install a pool volleyball kit. Uh, what we have here is the Summer Waves quick and easy setup volleyball set. Oh yeah. So let's get this thing started. Here's what comes in the box. We've got some directions. We've got a volleyball, the net, some attachments that go to the pool side, and some poles which Joey is putting together. Okay guys, according to the instructions, it looks like this is good for a 10 to 20 foot frame pool. Um, and ours is 12 by 24. I think the 12 fits in our uh, category. It looks like here, if you look at this picture at the end of the, uh, of the net, it looks like they just bunch up the net uh, to make it fit different size pools. We'll see how we get with that. Uh, so it looks like first thing um, is we need to determine the, the shape. Okay guys, the directions are not clear, so we're going to wing this. Um, first we're going to take our, our pole mounts, and if you look at the picture on the box, it looks like, uh, looks like we need to put those on a side mounting bar. Now the difference in our pool is our bars are angled. So, we're gonna get these. Uh, we're gonna get these put onto the side poles and uh, see if we can determine how we can get these to set up um, plumb. I guess would be the correct term. So first, let's find the middle. We have 12 poles basically. If you count each double one, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it looks like our middle of the pool is right here. So what we're gonna do is slide this in. And we're gonna move it up. Um, we're trying to be real careful to not damage our liner, but it looks like looks like we're gonna be okay here. So I'm gonna put this camera down, especially since they're starting to splash me. And we are going to get all of these put on, and then we'll bring you back. Okay, guys, I think we figured out what this is trying to say. This is the shape of your pole um, that you're gonna put your clips onto. Because what we did is we put this bottom clip on and you can see it's loose. Um, so what we need to do, there's numbers right here on these. And we need to set these to the proper number for the shape, for the shape of this pole. So let's, let's see if we can get those set up real quick. Okay guys, we can see our numbers right here. We have this off. Whoa, got a little windy. And it looks like from our directions that we need to set ours by our shape to number three. And we are on number two currently. And we may have to go number four because I think all it does is it brings this thing in closer. Um, like so. That's number, that's number four. So let's go ahead and try the number three and see if that fits, fits our pole. Um, there we are, we're in number three, and you can see how it moved this piece out further. So let's go, let's go try this out, see if this works. Can you come and uh, latch that for me, Joey? Okay, that's still a little loose, so we're gonna have to unlatch that and go to number four. Okay guys, we've got that set to number four. Um, let's try that again. That's gonna be as tight as it goes, so if that doesn't work... Oh, but look at that. That's nice and snug and we don't even have it. So, let's, uh, let's get that clamped on. Ouch, that almost hurt. Okay, so then what we'll do is we'll put our poles in there and it'll clamp it tight. Uh, so now we got to go ahead and get the rest of these set to number four. I'm going to put this down, get those set, and we'll come back. Okay, guys, quick update. We had to set it to three um, for this ultra frame pool. Um, if we set it to four, we could not get these pieces around to latch on these and, and secure it in place. It's still a little bit loose. Um, but I think it's going to hold it and uh, otherwise I'd have to leave them up and unlatched and these will probably break off if we do that so that's the way we're going to do this. 
what we do then is we just we snap the the poles in place. Oh. So we go ahead and snap these poles in and then bring these clips around and latch them latch them on. And then we get these turned, these hooks turned to accept the net. And now we just go ahead and we put the net on. Okay guys, we probably could have done that better somehow, but that's going to get us playing today. Um, I think what we could do is maybe add some more slack here to get that evened out on that side. Um, but they're wanting to play right now, so I think that's how we're going to leave it for now. We'll see how this holds up. Okay guys, the ball is pumped up and it looks like it's ready to go. The ball is pretty cheap, but I think that's going to be good enough for a pool. So here it is, all done. Uh, we'll probably see a quick game going here. Uh, looks pretty good. Like I said, we could probably uh, expand the strings on this side, reduce them down a little bit on this side, just to make that a little more neater appearance but it does serve the purpose so if you're looking for this it's the summer waves volleyball set i believe we got this off amazon i'll uh i'll put a link to it in the description uh so you guys can uh oh no i'm sorry we got this at walmart.com uh, i'll put a link to this in the description so you can uh you see what it's like but yeah here's what i'm talking about that's where they bundled it up um probably use zip ties or something on that we could use clear zip ties to do that a little neater if you were if you want to do that for your pool um, and I may do that on mine later but obviously they're wanting to play so again if you have the ultra frame pool we set ours to number three and I think it's gonna hold up pretty good hey guys that's all we have for today thanks for watching um, let's see how this holds up maybe I'll do an update video on it but so far so good they're gonna they're gonna enjoy it on this great hot summer day uh, we'll see you next time.